Hi. Today I'm going to deal with an issue that has plagued me. It has to do with dry brushes. Um, if you're like me, you are careless with your most precious tools, your brushes, and have let the paint dry on them without cleaning. Uh, if you can see in this brush here, it is the paint is totally dry and it's totally stiff. Um, this for oil paint, boy, it just kills a brush. And as much as you pay for brushes, if you pay as much as I do, it's very sad to throw them away. Now you don't have to. I am going to show you a method for cleaning your brushes, which will bring them back to their almost new state. So what you're going to need for this, uh, obviously, brushes, right? Um, stiff dry brush. Uh, I've got the big mega size of Murphy's Oil Soap. Uh, this also comes in smaller size. Um, <clears throat> this, you can buy this at uh, any of the big box stores, Menards, uh, Bose, Home Depot. And then you're going to need a small container. A small container. I use this. It's a uh, old baby food jar, plastic baby food jar. Uh, glass, plastic, it doesn't matter. Um, you don't want it to be too huge. So uh, this one has had the Murphy's Oil Soap. I've used this before. I just rinse it out in between. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean. So um, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is uh, my Murphy's Oil Soap. See, I'm filling it about halfway full. Um, why I like a smaller container is just so when it's done, it's kind of, I use it maybe two or three times and then I throw it, throw it out. Sometimes it gets kind of gross. It's getting all the paint and stuff off the surface. Set this here. So I usually do this not for one brush, but a group of brushes. Here's a group of brushes which I have badly abused uh, that all need a good cleaning. So I've taped them together with masking tape uh, and I made it where all the brush ends are the same height. Now we're going to want to uh, emerge these brushes in the soap. You can see here, but you don't want the ferrules to press all the way down. That will cause your uh, bristles to flare out. So I'm going to try to suspend it higher than the bristles, and I'll use some masking tape to do that. So I'm just wrapping this around the rim and then I'm going to raise the brushes up so they're not sitting on the bottom and just taping them close. I'm checking like one of my brushes is falling down. There you go. Now I can you can let this sit for as long as you like. Um, I usually let it sit like this for a day, maybe two days, and uh, I will click back on the video and show you what it looks like on the other end um, when these are all nice and clean. All right, it's been two days since I put this in here, and you can see the bottom, all this paint that has come off the brushes. Um, so I'm going to take the tape off and just pull out. And then you can reuse the mud as well, so Usually throw it away though after. 
couple of releases. You can see all the paint that's just pulled off the brushes. Even if you think your brushes are clean, when you do this, you realize how much paint can still on them. So just take one of these. You can see it strips the, the paint completely off. The bristles are completely soft. These were totally hard before I put them in there. They're completely soft and usable again. So, yeah. look at all that paint coming off of there. So, hopefully, this saves you some money and you're able to recycle those brushes with the dried on paint off of it. It even takes the paint off the, the ferrule up here. Thanks for watching.